Given f of x equals 3x plus 2 and g of x equals x minus 7, find and simplify the following. A, f plus g of x. Well, in order to evaluate f plus g of x, uh, we can work this out by separating and saying that it's the sum of the individual functions, f of x plus g of x, which would be uh, 3x plus 2 plus x minus 7. And then we would combine any like terms that we can. So 3x and x would combine to 4x, 2 minus 7 combined to negative 5. For part b, determining the value uh, uh, function f minus g of x, we can do the same thing. We just take the individual functions and subtract them. So this would be 3x plus 2 minus x minus 7. And the one thing to be careful of here is to make sure that the negative distributes into this set of parentheses. So you'll end up with a negative x and a positive 7. Uh, it's very easy to ignore uh, changing the sign of all the items in that set of parentheses. And then at that point, we will go through and combine like terms again. So 3x minus x would be 2x. And then 2 plus 7 is 9. So 2x plus 9. Part C. When we write f uh, right after the g, or uh, f and g of x like this, it's implied that we're multiplying these values. So this would be f times g of x. So we can evaluate that just by taking the individual functions and multiplying them. So this would be, of course, 3x plus 2 times x minus 7. And in order to evaluate this, we would just uh, start by foiling. So 3x times x is 3x squared. This would be minus 21x plus 2x and minus 14. And simplifying by combining like terms, we finally get 3x squared minus 19x minus 14. And that's the product of those two functions. And lastly, what we want is these two functions divided. So f divided by g of x. Well, f of x being 3x plus 2 and g of x being x minus 7, there's really not a whole lot else we can do except just leave it as is. Uh, it's often tempting for students to want to try and do some sort of algebra and uh, try and make the function look simpler, but there's nothing really that you can do it in this particular case. Um, uh, you would have to use polynomial division, which is a fairly uh, involved process, and wouldn't lend necessarily an answer that is simpler than this form. So this is all we can do.